In this video we're going to uh, look at vector notation and the concept of the unit vector and use those to define or describe um, a force. The unit vector is simply uh, a vector of one unit magnitude in uh, one of the three orthogonal directions x, y and z. Uh, so uh, for the x direction the unit vector is denoted with the letter i um, and it has the uh, little symbol above here uh, just to indicate that that's uh, a unit vector. In the y direction um, we have uh, j as our unit vector and uh, if we were looking at three dimensions uh, and we wanted the unit vector for the z direction then that would be the k unit vector. So I'll just indicate those on uh, my diagram. So here we have uh, the unit vector in the x direction, shown in blue and donated, denoted with the letter i, and in the y direction the unit vector j. So uh, using this vector uh, notation we can say that our x component here is a vector of magnitude fx in the direction of the unit vector i and similarly our uh, y component of the force fy uh, has a magnitude fy and it's in the direction of the unit vector j. Okay so then uh, using that we can write the, um, the vector force f and we just need to note that it's a vector by this little squiggly line underneath. So that vector force F is equal to the magnitude of the X component times the I unit vector to indicate its direction in the X direction and the magnitude of the Y component Fy times the J unit vector to indicate its direction. So if we use the same values for f and theta that we had uh, previously, so f equals 5 newtons and theta equals 35 degrees, uh, and we go back to our uh, previous values that we calculated. Okay, so previously we calculated uh, the x component magnitude was 4.096 newtons and the y component magnitude was 2.868. So we can make use of those values in... Uh, defining our vector using the um, vector notation. Okay, so just doing that, the vector force equals 4.096 i plus 2.868 j uh, and that now uh, defines completely our vector f um, of 5 newtons at 35 degrees to the x-axis um, but instead of having to write you know, 5 newtons at, 45, at 35 degrees we now have 4.096i indicating the i component or the, the x component and 2.868j indicating the magnitude of um, the force in the y direction.